Trump says he refuses to work with Democrats until investigations halt. So this happened this morning. President Donald Trump said in impromptu remarks Wednesday that he told Democrats at the White House he couldn't work with them while they are pursuing investigations into him and his administration. The Rose Garden speech came after an abbreviated meeting with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. I've said from the beginning, right from the beginning, you probably can't go down two tracks. You can go down the investigation track or you can go down the investment track. I walked into the room and I told Senator Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, this is uh, Trump, by the way, I want to do infrastructure, but you can't do it under these circumstances. He said uh, his message to lawmakers, that's a typo, check that out. I think that should be his. He said his message to the lawmakers was, get these phonies investigations over with. Earlier Wednesday, Pelosi had told reporters Trump was engaged in a cover-up. So what happened was the leaders of this country got together to talk about infrastructure, something we desperately need. And instead, Trump threw a hissy fit and walked out because earlier Nancy Pelosi said he's part of a cover-up. He said, I'm not part of a cover-up. And here's some more political theater for everyone. And if you find yourself saying, Trump's, Trump's right, good for Trump, or if you find yourself saying, way to go, Nancy, good job, Chuck, you're being the sucker they want you to be. You're being the sucker they want you to be. This is bullshit political theater. That's all this is. And instead of talking about infrastructure, which we grossly need infrastructure solutions imagine if we actually had nation leaders who are qualified for the job who are respectable to the job and who honor the job and who actually want to be public servants which chuck schumer no interest in being a public servant nancy pelosi no interest in being a public servant donald trump no interest in being a public servant imagine if we had politicians that did and they got together to talk about infrastructure and they started laying out plans for an extensive rail line in this country. They started laying out plans to get us off fossil fuels. They started laying out um, solar grids and wind. You get the idea. Imagine that meeting happened in an era where we need to act on climate change yesterday. Instead, Donald Trump throws a hissy fit and storms out over nothing more than political theater. And they want you to pick a side. That's what they want you to do. That's what the media loves. The corporate media loves to have this kind of horse race, hyper-partisan punditry, um, you know, good guy, bad guy, good cop, bad cop narrative that keeps us from actually focusing on anything real that's going on. You should look at something like this and not find yourself cheering for one side or another in this, for instance. You should look at something like this and be like, how does anybody respect or have any reverence for our political structure. It is a parody of a parody of a parody. I'll quote Slow News Day here. We're living in a cartoon. And not only a cartoon, a shitty one. A real fucking boring cartoon. Donald Trump is not a respectable president. Nancy Pelosi is not a respectable leader. Chuck Schumer is not a respectable leader. And, you know, that's why when people ask me, Ron, would you ever consider running for office? Like, I'm like, no, I can't. Because to run for office, you have to have some type of reverence for our process. And I don't. I just don't. I believe in acting locally. I believe in change locally. And I believe that can affect the nation. I don't think we're hopeless. But as far as our structure structure electorally, it is a parody of itself. Can we change that? Yes, we can. But the people who have to run for office are the people who have a little less cynicism towards all that than I do. And a lot of people do, and, and bless them for that. But I'm meant to be the outsider. And... This is theater, and instead of, instead of talking about infrastructure solutions, which, by the way, uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have no solutions. Donald Trump's solution is let's privatize everything and ruin our infrastructure even further. 
So even if they did talk about the issue, there would be one side with no solutions and one side with horrible solutions. But this is political theater, and this is something that the media amplifies constantly to avoid us from looking at what's really going on. This is a joke, and these little episodic hissy fits, these little episodic, for instance, is all they do is rile up Trump's base. And in the long run, it's actually helping him. So if you find yourself, oh, the resistance, like, like no. This is theater. This is theater. They're trying to trick you into picking a boxer. And at the end of the day, both boxers are fighting for Wall Street. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? Together and making our own. Get your 